Yo, what's good, my friends? Today we're gonna look at the meta builds, who won and who lost in the last matches. We look at the wins and losses and the uniques of these builds, the weapons used, the classes, the subclasses used, and we'll compare them and compare their wins to losses. We'll talk about uh, what builds that we will recommend that will help you to win higher win to loss ratio and which to not recommend so let's get started now for the 4 classes reaper and berserkers are mainly melees while pyro and ranger are mainly range range counters spikes build while spike builds counter melee builds berserker chain whip can counter ranger due to the huge buff generation while ranger with luck and regen gen ration can counter reaper who inflict debuffs. Pyro is also another counter to Reaper due to heat generation and cold debuff, but however can burst seaweed beat Dark Saber Reaper. Yes, as Dark Saber Reapers, Dark Saber relies on mana regeneration to blind and scale damage with luck generation items such as Wolves, Flute, Din Lamb, buff remover like Ripsaw, HOD, Fanfare, but Burst is not as effective as Ranger. Inflicting debuffs are currently stronger than generating buffs. Deck of cards, Reaper require Hollow Fire Lizards and Luck Remover to beat Dark Saber. Okay, now let's move on to the wins and losses of the different builds. Sea Whip is 6 to 2, only lost to Dual Sea Whip and Obsidian Dragon Skill Warren. Dark Saber is 5-4 and is above average but is unable to beat Sea Weep. Fortuna's Grace Rapier is 2-1. Lost to Ixkelly Mana Thirst Shifted. Ixkelly, Dex and Frostbite are quite strong against other builds except Sea Weep uh, Dark Saber. More data is required to compare due to lack of sample size. Obsidian Dragon is 2-2. Two and it's quite neat. Rapier and Manatus Excali is 1 to 3 and 1 to 2 respectively, but are still better than Fire Staff, Molten Spear, Stun Deck, and Villain Sword, as those three are go to 1 and without any wins. The worst of them are the Molten Spear and Pandemonium, which are 0 to 2. Here are some builds I would recommend rank best was from top to bottom. Double X Blacksmith or Shaman for the Berserker. Excali Cheese Chieftain and Chain Whip Pack Lead for Berserker. For Pyro will be Frostbite Cryro Mancer, Excali Chili Berry Crusader and Obsidian Dragon Skill Warning. For Reaper, Seaweed Mrs. Struggle Switch, Dark Saber Hexblade or Venomancer, and Brilliant Sword Hexblade. For Ranger, it will be Life, Dark Saber Life Binder, uh, F Grace Hunter, Rapier Gro Groove Keeper, and Stun Deck Groove Keeper. Right, I hope you all enjoy this uh, short presentation. I'm going to try a new build. Inspired by Tokyo uh, YT, uh, is the Manatus uh, Falcon Sword Groove Keeper build using uh, Din Lamp. I think it's quite strong to be in the second or third place. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Please like and subscribe for the algorithms. And uh, feel free to join me on Twitch. As I'll be streaming there. Uh, also on playing Realm of Mad God. Hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you all later. Adios.